Welcome to Lesson 2. Hopefully you've created your free WordPress account and now we're ready to log in. Since I already have a WordPress account, I'm going to simply log in under my username and password. And so I'll do that right here. As you can see, put my password in, which hopefully you cannot see. <laughs> and we're ready to get rolling. Now, I have uh, the really great thing about WordPress is that you can actually have multiple uh, blogs or what I call blog slash website. We'll be referring to them as a website as we go throughout these videos. But as you can see, I have several actual blog slash websites. I have a, a personal blog website that I have for my speaking business. If you want to find out more information about training and speaking that I can offer to associations and real estate companies on technology and actually I have a great um, great technology seminar on how to create a WordPress account what we're doing here I have my uh, go to sales meeting account where you can order and subscribe to real estate sales meetings on a regular basis and I have a, a real estate blog myself for my real estate office in Farmington Missouri another technology blog and another little blog I do with a couple of speakers uh, on some information that we do now what what we need to do at this point is register another blog because I want to show you how to create a recruiting website so I'm simply going to select register another blog and at this point I need to come up with a name for this particular blog and um, I'm going to just uh, create this uh, call this a real estate career dot wordpress dot com and we'll call this um, um, Mayfield real estate careers you can call that anything you want and I can come back and change the blog title and we're gonna just create this blog hopefully realestatecareer.wordpress.com is available if it's not available it will show us that and uh, says sorry that blog already exists so somebody out there's one step up on us so we'll just call this the crb.wordpress.com and let's take a look and see if that particular WordPress that's already taken. So we probably need to call it the Council um, of R E uh, Brokers WordPress .com. Let's see if that's available. Now, good little exercise for us. I want you to be patient and understand that as you're trying to register a name for your blog, it may already be taken. And if it is, it's no big deal. Just go back, try some different names. But I would encourage you to try to come up with something a little creative and different because this is how we can point people to our WordPress blog. And I'm going to show you some other really neat things you can do to direct traffic and have a unique URL for your recruiting blog because that's what we're trying to talk about here is how can I create a real estate recruiting blog for my real estate company well as you can see we've set up the blog we're ready to go and our first step then would be to go up to our dashboard now as you notice I have several blogs already set up through my dashboard you can have multiple blogs these are free they don't cost you anything so I'm gonna go down and select Council of RE brokers that's our new recruiting blog that we're going to develop and I'll simply select that and now we're ready to kind of get started and to uh, create this recruiting blog in just a matter of a few moments so our first step to do I like to do anyway is get a little bit familiar with the blog and the dashboard as you can see there are several things that you can do up in the left hand corner from your dashboard everything from your blog statistics uh, comments if you want to set up subscriptions and so forth we can drop down and we can create post and we're going to learn how to do that we can add media web links and so much more so where should I get started that's probably the first question you're you're wanting to know and you're um, begging to find out and so here's what I like to do and that is to go down I'm gonna scroll down my page and I'm going to go into the appearance section 
and we are going to just change the look of our blog somehow. Now, WordPress.com, it is free. It's a great free service. You get some excellent um, ranking with search engine optimization through Google. And as you can see, there are, uh, when we go into customization, there are actually 77 different themes that they've put up that we could choose. So for instance, if we wanted to select this blog, and we can just kind of preview and take a look, here's a little um, uh, theme of what that may look like. Uh, if you don't want to use that, just simply select the X up here, and maybe go down, scroll down, look at some of the other selections they have. Here's one called green, um, and we may want to take a look at that and see. One of the things I want you to keep in mind when you're creating this blog is to look down here and see if you can actually customize the blog. These do not show any customization, so I want to look for something that I can customize the header across the top. So as I look down through here, I just found one this particular blog has what is called the ability to create a custom header. Do you see that right there? I'm going to highlight that for you. So let's preview this. And even though we're going to see the sky and maybe a different graphic there, that's okay because we're going to change that photo in just a moment. So to activate that blog, I just come up here, select the Activate button, and now I'm ready to create a blog in WordPress for recruiting.